students in this video we'll discuss about extreme values of the function let us take one example examine the function f of x y is equal to x y into 1 minus x minus y for extreme value before we start with the solution of this problem to write the extreme values of the function the procedure is that we first go for finding the first order derivative that is dou f by dou x equal to 0 and we go for equating dou f by dou y is equal to 0. Find the values of x and y such that these two first order partial derivatives are 0. Those points are called as the critical points and then this is called the necessary condition for any function to be to have extreme values. The sufficient condition is that the derivatives a is equal to dou square f by dou x square and b is equal to dou square f by dou y dou x or it is dou x dou y and c is equal to dou square f by dou y square. If these are the second order partial derivatives, then if ac minus b square is greater than 0, then the function will have the extreme values. Depending on the value of a, it will be either maximum or minimum value. So the procedure goes like the necessary condition first we will go for dou f by dou x equal to 0 and dou f by dou y is equal to 0. Find the points x and y satisfying these two conditions then go for second order derivatives dou square f by dou x square b dou square f by dou y dou x or dou x dou y both will be the same and c is equal to dou square f by dou y square at the critical points suppose that ac minus b square is greater than 0 then the function will have extreme values those extreme values we can write if suppose that a is greater than 0 and ac minus b square is greater than 0 then the function will have minimum and this condition satisfied if a is less than 0 then the function will have maximum so for any given problem we do all these steps so for our problem let me go for finding the first order partial derivative. So, the given the function f of xy is equal to xy 1 minus x minus 1. Find the partial or first order partial derivative. It is dou f by dou x is equal to. Here you note that y is the constant and these two functions have x in it. So, therefore, we go for the product rule. Keep the x as it is. The derivative of this bracket with respect to x and it's a partial derivative. So 1 is 0. The derivative of minus x is minus 1. Then the derivative of y is equal to 0. Plus 1 minus x minus y as it is. Here the derivative of x is 1. So this is by product rule. So y, it is minus x plus 1 minus x minus 1. Adding all, it is y 1 minus 2x minus 1. So this is dou f by dou x. Here, similarly we will write dou f by dou y. Some functions are called as the symmetric functions. So, what we mean by the symmetric function? Suppose that in the function, if I replace x by y and if the function remains the same, then such functions are called as the symmetric function. So, here if we note in this function, wherever that x is there, if I replace that by y and y by x, the function remains the same. That is, f of xy is same as f of yx then it is called a symmetric function
So here it is the symmetric function. What is an advantage of verifying the symmetric function is that we can go write the partial order derivative directly as the differentiation will be same. So the same derivatives will come where the x is there in the place of x write y in place of y write x. So we can write the dou f by dou y directly as x into 1 minus 2y minus x. So these are the first order partial derivatives. So the necessary condition for extremum values is that dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y are 0. So for critical points for extreme values dou f by dou x is 0 and dou f by dou y is equal to 0. So here y 1 minus 2x minus y is equal to 0 and x 1 minus 2y minus x is equal to 0. So here it is the product of two function equal to 0. That means that y is equal to 0 and 1 minus 2x minus y is equal to 0. Suppose that y is equal to 0. And similarly here it is x is equal to 0 and then 1 minus 2y minus x is equal to 0. So we need to write all, what are all the different possibilities of taking this equation. Suppose that here if we will make the combination of these equations. If x is 0 then y is also 0. If suppose that if x is equal to 0 then substituting x equal to 0 in the equation. So here if I substitute x is equal to 0, so what we get? The value of y will be equal to 1. So it is y equal to 1. Then if y is equal to 0, substitute y equal to 0 in this equation, it will be x is equal to 1. And the another set of the equations will be 2x here. It is minus 2x minus y 1 is equal to 0 and 1 minus 2y minus x equal to 0. So rearranging it is 2x plus y is equal to 1 and here it is x plus 2y is equal to 1. On simplification we will get the solution of this as x is equal to 1 by 3 and y is also equal to 1 by 3. So we have the set of critical points here. It is 0, 0, 0, 0,0, and 1,0. So solving these two equations, we have a critical point as 1 by 3, 1 by 3 are critical points. So these set uh, four values are the critical values. So we'll go for the second order derivatives. And then the second order derivatives will find at these three points. Here a is equal to it is dou square f by dou x square which is dou by dou x of dou f by dou x. That is dou by dou x of y into 1 minus 2x minus y. So differentiating this with respect to x, y is a constant and the derivative of 1 will be a 0. So y constant, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of minus 2x is minus 2 and the derivative of y here is 0. So it will be minus 2y. Similarly, the b is equal to, it is dou square f by dou y dou x. So that is dou by dou y of dou f by dou x. 
here it is do by do y of y into 1 minus 2x minus y. So here you can note that y is there in both. So therefore it will be a product rule. Write the y as it is. The differentiation of 1 minus 2x minus y with respect to y. It is 1 is 0 minus 2x is 0. Here we will get minus 1 plus 1 minus 2x minus y as it is. The derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Adding this we will get 1 minus 2x minus 2y. Minus y and minus y on addition. So similarly c is equal to dou square f by dou y square. It is dou by dou y of dou f by dou y. Which is dou by dou y of x into 1 minus x minus 2y. It is x is a constant here. So write x as it is. The derivative of 1 is 0. Minus x is 0. So the differentiation of minus 2y is minus 2. So the c value it is minus 2x. With all these second order derivatives we will find at the critical point. So let me take that in the tabulated form. So we will have a table. So here we will write what are the critical points. So a value is minus 2x. A is minus 2y. B is 1 minus 2x minus 2y and C is minus 2x. So critical points are 0 comma 0, it is 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 and here it is 1 by 3, 1 by 3. With respect to that AC minus B square, we will write the conclusion. So, we will take AC minus B square and we will write the conclusion. So, take the values x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Substitute in A, B, C and also find AC minus B square. So, here the A value at 0, 0 is 0. The B value is 1. The C value is also 0. So, AC minus B square will be minus 1. So, it is less than 0. So, we, ha we have uh, the three conditions. Here, if it is AC minus B square, if it is less than 0, then those po that point is called as the saddle point. And if AC minus B square is greater than 0, then the function has an extreme value. Extremum value. If AC minus B square is equal to 0, then no conclusion or it requires three further studies. Okay, so in this case we got AC minus B square as a negative value. So therefore the 0, 0 is a saddle point. Similarly, put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So this we will get it as 0. Here it will be minus 1. Take x is equal to 1. It is minus 2. So ac minus b square again we will get it as 0 into minus 2 which is a 0. Minus b square it is minus 1. So that is less than 0. The conclusion is that it is saddle 1. So in this case when x is 0, y is equal to 1, we will get this as minus 2. It is y equal to 1. So 1 minus 2, it is minus 1. x is 0. So this will be the 0. ac minus b square. Again it is minus 1. Less than 0. So it is 
once again the point is saddle point now take x is equal to 1 by 3 y is equal to 1 by 3 so it will be minus 2 by 3 here on simplification we will get that is 1 by 3 minus 2x which will be minus 2 by 3 at the point ac minus b square at the point 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 is 1 by 3 which is greater than 0. So the function p is having the extremum at the point 1, 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3. In that case we need to check what is the sine of a. So here we see that the sine of a is negative it is less than 0. ac minus b square is greater than 0 and a is a negative value in that case the function has a minimum. So this implies f of xy has minimum at 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3. Okay and if you want the minimum value Put x equal to 1 by 3 and y equal to 1 by 3 in the function it is 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 so which will be 1 by 27 so this is the minimum value of the function thanks for watching